Last week, Becker County Sheriff Tim Gordon hung up his spurs after 34 years with the Becker County Law Enforcement Agency or the Becker County Sheriff's Office spending the last 10 years as sheriff here in Becker County. There was a nice little ceremony where law, law enforcement personnel were able to say goodbye and thank him for his years of service, including the Becker County Board of Commissioners, which regretfully accepted his resignation. His resignation was submitted to the board earlier in the month of October. Shortly after his resignation was submitted, though, however, to the Becker County Board of Commissioners, an article was printed in the Fargo Forum, and then shortly after, the same article was then reprinted in the Detroit Lakes Tribune, which talked about a quote-unquote investigation that the sheriff was under at the time. And somehow, the article made it appear that the two were linked. Now, some time has gone on, and nobody knows what this investigation is. In fact, I think this is a prime example of a media outlet doing its best job to do some type of bad story. And I say it in this context. There was not enough information the Fargo Forum had to even go to the presses with anything. The only information that the Fargo Forum had, without citing whatever source was that tipped them off to the story in the first place, because certainly talking to several local media people here in Detroit Lakes and Becker County, nobody had a clue that anything was going on until the Fargo Forum article came out. After reading that article, it's apparent that the only information they actually have is from Sheriff Gordon himself, who confirmed that, in fact, an agency, a member from an agency, the BCA, came and talked to him about some apparent DNR grants and contracts the county and or sheriff's office might have. Beyond that, that's the only facts anybody knows about the case. The sheriff has repeatedly said that it did not play any factor and to his retirement. Now, I don't know if it didn't play any factor, but it certainly was not the major factor. I was surprised, actually, when Sheriff Gordon decided to run for a third term. For a long time, he didn't think he was going to do that. So I was not completely shocked when he announced his retirement before completing it. But back to the decision to run the article in the first place. Investigations happen all the time. I can be under investigation for any reason under any accusation. Now, is an investigation itself worth reporting on? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But the problem is this opened up the rumor mill, and that's what I don't like. I've been stopped several times here in the community in the last few weeks with people asking me if I know what's going on. I repeat the same few facts that I am able to repeat that I have been able to confirm. But most of them have wild and outlandish stories that they've heard around town that have nothing to do with the actual case or not even close. So really what I think this has got to be a lesson is, is people got to be careful as media outlets exactly what we print. Maybe we should make sure all our ducks in a row. Because 34 years of dedicated service to the county, 10 years of running the sheriff's office, was basically destroyed in the public image eyes in three sentences and one article printed one week, three weeks before a guy was stepping down. And I don't think that's fair to him, and I don't think it's fair to the community. One day all the facts of whatever this investigation is will shake out. And I get a feeling all those people spreading these rumors in town are going to feel pretty sheepish when they find out what it is. Now, do I know what it is exactly? No. But I certainly don't think it's criminal. I think it's, bure it's a bureaucracy really in nature as far as paperwork not being filed right or something not getting paid on time. But only time will tell. The thing is, though, Calm down and wait for the facts to actually come out instead of jumping to conclusions. But that's tough to go when one of the leading news agencies in town, like the Fargo Forum, will jump on anything they can just to sell a headline.